Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video I'm gonna show you how I write my enemy logic and enemy movement in Game Maker Studio. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember from last video we did wake up and sleep of our enemy, okay? So when we go close to him, it will wake up and when we go far from him, it will go to sleep. And now we wanna have more enemy logic that can follow, that enemy can follow us, okay? So for that, let's just open up, let's just close everything first and open up our enemy and first of all what i'm gonna do is to use this direction to player uh, that give us the direction from our enemy to the player and use it to tell the enemy where to look at okay so for that we check if direction to player was greater than 19 degrees okay in this case this is direction zero this is direction 19 and this is direction 180 so when our player is at the left side of our uh, enemy the enemy should look at at his left okay so for that we say image scale image x scale equal to minus enemy scale x and you remember we get the default scaling scale x of our enemy in create event in here you remember that from last video right so at at the else we say image x scale equal enemy enemy scale x and with that i want to change the direction of our enemy in here as well so we say direction equal minus one for when our player is at the left side of our enemy and in here we say direction equal one okay so when we run our game in this case you can see that our enemy is looking at us and if we go to the right it will look at us as well and it can go to sleep and go to wake up and you can see it look at, looking at us okay so now that we have this you remember that when the distance to player is less than 300 i'm telling the enemy to wake up and if it's not it will go to sleep by having this variable in here on player and we will i want to do something similar let's just copy and paste this for enemy to follow our player okay so if the distance to player is something like 150 just follow our player and for that i want to create another variable let's say for in here phone player to follow okay and with this we can create it in create event in here and i want to say phone player to follow is equal false at default and when the distance to player is less than 150 it can follow our player and in else it shouldn't follow our player anymore okay so now we have this logic let's just go to enemy movement and in here we say if found player to follow if our enemy find our player to follow in this case we change the x value of our enemy plus equal to image x scale okay we use the image x scale of our enemy multiply by enemy values dot run speed okay if we go to this create event you can see that enemy values have walk speed and we can use that walk speed okay so i think this walk speed of number 10 is too much so let's just give it a 2 okay i think 2 is good enough and in this case it will follow or player so let's just run to see if it's working or not and when we get close it will wake up if we get closer it will follow us but it won't play any animation for following us you can see that right so again if you go in right side of it again it look at us and it will follow us as well okay so you can see that it will follow us so now that we have this enemy logic and enemy movement we want to write our state machine for this walking animation okay so let's just collapse all these enemy sleep enemy die and everything and in this enemy states i want to add a walk state in here as well so now we have walk state and we can we can create a function for that so in a step event i want to copy one of these cases because we want to have walk state or run state in here as well so you say walk if the enemy state is walk go to enemy walk state function and let's just create this function come to co copy this uh, this function name and in here i want to add it at the end of this scr enemy in here i want to say function because we want to create function right so 
now we have our function so like all the states first of all we should set the sprite index okay so the sprite index in this case should be spr droid zapper run or walk or whatever okay next like all we did in other state we should set the image speed right so we don't know what image speed is at this moment so we set it to one because the walk speed we want it to be in forward so we set the image speed to one and in here i want to say if found player to follow if found player to follow is false okay go back to wake up state okay so it should be wake up but it shouldn't moving okay so we we say enemy state is equal to enemy states dot wake up okay so know that we are here let's just copy and paste this and say if the phone player is false okay go back to sleep like this and know that we have our walk state function for our enemy we should set we should trigger this walk state in some time right when we can set it let's just collapse everything in here in die it shouldn't be able to go after our uh, our player right when it's died it shouldn't this enemy movement shouldn't shouldn't happen in walk state it should be able to follow our enemy so in here we can we can just copy and paste this and in you know that we are at the wake up state okay so if the phone player to follow is true go to walk state right in a sleep state we shouldn't be able to go after our player but in wake up state we should check if the phone player to follow is true and we should go to walk state so know that we have this let's just run to see if it's working or not if the animation is working or not so if you get close to it and you can see the the animation for walking of our enemy is working no there is a problem here if you shoot our enemy and if you go close to it you can see it follow us but after two seconds it disappeared so for that we should check it in this enemy movement if our enemy is dying we shouldn't let it to follow our player anymore so in here we say and is dying if it's not dying if phone player to follow is true and is dying is not true is and is dying is false in this case go after our player so let's just run it and just go here and when we shoot it you can see it won't go after us when it's in dire state okay no we have the enemy logic and movement but we need our enemy to attack our player but we can do that in the next video i will show you how you can have melee attack for our enemy if you want to help me hit that like button it helps me a lot and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching bye